I guess nesting is officially starting to kick in because I have been wanting to do some house projects indoors, which for the past couple of years, all of our focus has been so much of outside homesteading things, the gardening, the animals, building up structures, all of that stuff. And lately I just felt this crazy urgency to like get a couple things done inside that we had always planned on doing. The only part of this project that has been me is I designed this and then Cameron tackled the rest. So there is a little area of our kitchen that we intentionally left unfinished because I had planned on putting up some pot racks in this area. But over time and after living here, I decided against it and I wanted some wood shelves instead to add some coziness and warmth into the kitchen. So I drew up what I wanted and I showed it to Cam. And since he is the woodworker, he went to work on making my drawing come to life. I'm gonna let him tell you how he made this and put it together because he got a really great deal on the wood and even though it was kind of some wonky wood, he was able to make a really cool shelving unit out of it. Yeah, I, just, I didn't realize I had those gaps in there, but I guess, yeah, I guess I did. A local sawmill had a pallet of walnut scraps that I was able to buy for around a dollar a board foot. Walnut is typically eight to ten times that much, so when I saw this deal, I jumped on it really quick. So here I'm unloading the wood and I'm going to cut it down to a more workable size so that I can start planing it. When you get wood straight from the sawmill, it comes in what's called rough cut or rough sawn condition. And so I take every one of these planks and run them through the planer a few times to get that rough sawn look off. And what's left is a smooth furniture grade finish that's ready for the next step. This whole surface is clean, meaning it's milled down to like a, you know, showable surface. And so, now I'm gonna flip it over and plane this side until both sides are clean and then this will be prepped and ready to, to glue up and it'll be, it'll be good furniture stock. Here I'm squaring up all the edges before I do the glue up. Lay that right here. Lay this right here. like peanut butter and jelly or something else. <laughs> that one goes there. This one goes here. Join forces. I'm gonna tighten these middle ones first. Moderately tight. And then I do these. What are those for? To keep, to keep the ends like Straight. Straight, okay. yeah. And this one, this is gonna raise this like quarter inch. Let's see what that does. Okay, that's actually good. Okay. Okay, yeah, see that's moving still. That's good. So that's now. Oh yeah, that's flat. Okay, cool, that helped. I don't have any more clamps. Yeah. So yeah, unless you let me go buy some more. These are 50 bucks a piece. This clamp is $50? Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. So at this point, all the shelves are, have been glued up and I'm trimming them so that they're all the exact same width and length to, to get ready for the assembly. It seems like with a lot of projects I do, I inevitably forget about one piece or I just miscalculate from the beginning. And so I had to hurry and plane another plank to make sure I had enough for the final assembly. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? That does fit good. I mean, the walls are 
The least close is great. I can't wait to show you guys the finished result of the shelves, but we need to take a brief break and tell you about our partner for this video, Birch. Birch makes non-toxic mattresses and they're made right here in America. A couple of months ago, I shared about Birch during our home tour. We ordered a Birch Lux mattress, which is a premium upgrade to their original mattress. And we also ordered their organic mattress topper. The combination of the mattress and the topper are super comfortable, making it easier to sleep at night, which is something that is not only important to me now, but also will be super important when Kim and I have our new baby join our family in June. Something we really love about the mattresses is that right off the bat, when we opened everything, there was no chemical smell or off-gassing because the mattress is made with all natural materials. So it's really nice to know that we're not breathing in any harmful chemicals as we sleep. The mattress contains lots of sustainably sourced and organic materials, but our favorite material of all is that it uses lots of wool, so it never really sleeps too hot or too cold. It can seem risky buying a mattress without even trying it, but they have a 100 night sleep trial, so you can try it and see if you like it. And if you do, they do have a 25 year warranty for the mattress, which is a very, very long time for a mattress. So you don't really need to worry about any of that aspect. So if you're in the market for a new mattress, check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com forward slash seasonal homestead and get 20% off your mattress plus two free pillows. And I also wanted to let you guys know that they have a new line of Birch Kids mattresses that are available now as well. So here we're doing a dry fit for the exact reason that you do a dry fit. We assembled it and then put it into the nook because according to the, the tape measure, it was supposed to fit exactly in that nook. And when we actually put it in, there was a, it was about a quarter inch too tight on the top. No walls are exactly square and perfect. I mean, they're generally close, but we had to we had to disassemble it shave off a quarter inch off of each shelf and then put it back together we didn't show that in the video but that's what had to happen here i mean i got to drill 10 holes for these pegs and i want them all uni as uniform as can be so i made a quick jig that will help me help me do that marked with tape where i want my drill to stop because i don't want to go all the way through I could, but I don't necessarily want to. One. This also helps keep, helps keep the drill perfectly straight up and down. Or whatever angle I were to make it if I did it differently. So. Just for a little bit of glue in each one, I'll kind of I'll get like a toothpick or something to kind of spread it around. Two, three, four, five. I don't know why I'm counting, but. <laughs> So we're almost ready to put it in the wall and just a few finishing touches I'm doing to make sure the shelves are really square and that there's, there's no gaps or anything like that. A fun thing that Cruz and I had to work around was the light switch that was on the right wall of the nook. And so we had to lift it up super high to kind of navigate around that and just make sure it fit without without scratching too much of the wall so we did a pretty good job the shelves are now up and i'm installing the face frame to really give it that finished complete look we're halfway through my oil here the stain whatever you want to call it 
One of my favorite parts of these wood builds that I do, especially when I'm working with walnut, is the finishing coat or sealant that I put on. Here I'm using Rubio Mono Coat. It's the same thing I used when I did the countertop in the pantry. And I love it because it really brings out the awesome natural color of the walnut and gives it a good sheen without making it too like glossy and shiny. It just makes it look really good. The shelving unit is all finished up. The coating is dry. I think it turned out so good. I love the matte finish and I love all of the natural variation that is in walnut because you get all these tones from light to dark. It looks so cool. And I also just feel like Cam did a really good job. So I am going to do the fun part now and that is decorating this and adding my own personal touch and then we'll be finished. I gathered a bunch of things from around the house and yesterday I did go shop and grab a couple of plants here and some other house plants. I felt like I really needed some greens in my house at this point. These are some of our favorite cookbooks. I originally wasn't gonna put them on there, but my kids really wanted to, so we are gonna do that. Back in here, this is a painting that I did, and I had that picture. I just moved it from another place in the house. And then we have some mugs. We're gonna hang on the, the pegs. And these plates, these are my great grandma's. And we had them in a cupboard and hardly ever eat on them. But I think they're really pretty, so I'm gonna put them more on display. I just purchased this vase recently. This one, as you can tell, it's antique. This is also my great grandma's. And then some more house plants, and this is a bowl I already had. So let's put it up and see how it looks. The other day I did string up some of our onions from the pantry. They're still good. So I made two strings of these and I'm gonna hang them for decoration. That did not work. <laughs>